I'm Ling Chi, and I'm do, going to do a flower for um, the beginners in Chinese brush painting. And the one that we're going to do it today is Night Blooming Series. It's, um, it's the first step when you advance from single petal flower into a multiple petals. And it's not as complicated as, say, peony, but it's a really good start for a beginner to trying out how to do a multi petal flowers. <clears throat> we are using uh, Ning Ye's 108 Flower Book 3, and it's on page 114. Um, it's Night Blooming series. So, um, The brush we're going to use in the in the book asking for large flow, flow and happy down. So as always, I'm replacing full lotus with large flow because um, I have a tendency to paint dry and the full uh, lotus brush is um, give me a lot more volume to show, show the transparency. If you have a tendency to paint dry, and I think large flow would be a good choice. And then the second brush I'm using is our regular flow brush. And uh, you'll see that I have two here, uh, so I don't have to change colors while we are filming. And then the third one I'm using the pre-happy dot. If you have the happy dot, you can use the happy dot. So it's a small line brush and I'm also having two here so I don't need to wash the color out as we're filming it. The paper I'm using is unsized uh, double shen AO. You can use any unsized shen paper you are used to. So uh, emphasize is unsized. The color <clears throat> I'm using the the newly introduced OAS Bright Light Water Chinese Watercolor. So this color uh, is on the budget side and also um, have uh, very good stability when you wet mount. But one thing though very, uh, I want to emphasize, you do not want to mix this brand of color in, especially in green, say the indigo and yellow with your other um, brand of color like Marie's or any Chinese watercolor or uh, Western watercolor because when you wet mount, they will separate from each other. So if you don't wet mount, then it's okay. Um, the first color I have is the white, diluted white. And then I have red, which I use a bright light red. Add a little bit burnt sienna to mimicking the um, carmine red deep from Schminke, which is a German color in the book. And then I add diluted white with this red and becomes my pink. And then I have rouge, which is in the book for Pearling violet, and I have um, a light green, indigo plus yellow, and a dark green, indigo plus yellow. Both are the same color, but then just uh, the portion of yellow is different. So if you want a light green, then you add more yellow to your indigo, and then the darker green is there's more indigo than the yellow proportionally. And then I have a, a yellow, which I'm using uh, bright lights, um, yellow with mid yellow. So get a little bit brighter, but if you just want to use one yellow, it's okay. Um, in this particular um, flower, I'm going to use um, this bleed proof white, Dr. Martin's bleed proof white for the center. Um, because uh, this will show up better than the tube white it's in here. If you just you want to use the tube white, 
make sure that the two ply is very uh, dense. So no water at all. So this is what it looks like. This is the bleed proof white out of yellow for the top of the um, center. So um, this particularly subject, two very basic strokes, and I want to show it to you. And this is very important if you are beginners and then you want to learn. Um, this is the two, this is the flower petal you need to really practice. So I'm using um, diluted white and a little bit washing the tip off and then add pink and a little bit teeny, teeny red and then I blend. So one of the things people always ask me then when you see the book says there are three colors to the brush, what do you, which one do you use first? Always light and then the dark. So in order to be able to show. So the two stroke that in here on the flower petal is that the to the right side, which is easier for right-handed. So, so this is the flower petal. And then the left side, side, so these two strokes that you need to practice if you're not familiar with. One more time, white, uh, white, pink, a little teeny red. Side. The left side. So if you haven't done it, this is the stroke to practice. It would be very useful in the future. And then uh, the leaves, the, the, the stroke. So I like to hide a little bit yellow when I load the leaf, um, the green so it has dark, uh, I'm sorry, a little white. And I always wash the tip off. And then here is light green, load, and then dark green, load. So the leaves, So um, these are the strokes that if you can practice ahead of time before you start your project, that would be very helpful. So now we're going to start the project, which is not Night Blooming series. The size of the, um, the paper I'm using to demo today is one sixth of the full sheets. So as far as inch wise is approximately 13 by 18. And I'm doing it vertically long. So flow brush loaded with dilute white. So about, I would say, a third. And then I rinse the tip off so the white doesn't interfere with the other color, so it will show the transparency. And then the pink. 
and then a teeny red. And then I, I blend. So the first petal. So I'm going to do a U shape. So So you can see this is like a cup. So the top. So you can see that I'm already starting like a center of the flower. So this is a round shape. And then I'm going to use red on the tip and then dark red and blend. I add dark red again, blend. And I build a wall from the center meeting to the top petal. Okay, and then I'm going to use A little white, rinse it off with some light green, a little bit off, and then pink on the tip. So then I start building the petal, um, the second layer of the petal. So. So I want it a little bit darker. So I add a little red to it. And then the third layer, which is um, a little green. And then I'm adding some red and some dark red. So then I'm start making to seal some or make it more interesting like this two petal. There are two, um, much the same length, so I'm adding additional one. So yours is not going to be complete like his because you are just kind of trying to make yours. Um, it depends on how your center of your flower is, so. So this is going to be my flower. And I want to add a little bit more fun things on the side so they are not too even. So I'm using white, I rinse it off. 
add a little bit green, light green. And a um, and little bit pink and red. So I'm adding So now my flower has more interesting things going on here. Okay, so this is my multi-level of flower. So we don't want it to wait too long to do the center. But then in the meantime, if you don't have an intense white, then it's going to blend with the center. So I'm using the... The pre-happy doll here, or you can have your happy doll. Make sure that it's all clean. So you can see the ink from previous uh, painting that settled in the, in the bottom. So this is how you want to make sure that you're cleaning it. So I'm using bleed proof wine to do the center. So this one is the longest one. And then shorter around the side. A little bit longer and short. And then on the top, then you use this yellow with bleed proof wine. So it will stand out. So this is the center of the flower. Now we are getting to the leaves. So we're going to do the anchor leaf first. So I have my full lotus brush. Loaded with yellow and light green and dark green. So the first stroke is pretty close to your flower. So I'm doing here, I'm doing there. Going here, 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 here. So this is an anchor leaf. And then I want to have us to connect to the flower. So the, the side, the leaf, light green, dark green, profile leaves, I go And then I'm going to add a little bit darker leaves. So I have light green, dark green with dark yellow, uh, darker red. And I will, so. And then the shadow leaves.
I'm doing the tr the chalk I green a little bit red. I'm using light green, dark green, red. So I'm using a little bit ink to do that profile. Okay, now we're going to do the flower bud. So We're using light green, dark green, a little bit red, and then we're going to start it from this. So this is the things to hold the flower bud. So I'm using a uh, different flow brush, still the flow. So I have white, dilute the white, and rinse it off a little bit, pink, a little red. So I'm doing the top. And then I use Add a little bit deeper red. And then I use dark red to add a thorn to it. And then I add a little dark green with a little dark red to kind of more interesting in the back of the flower. So this is my bud. So I'm adding a little bit of shadow with the ink here to make it more interesting. That's it. <laughs>